Welcome to Michigan in Focus. I'm Bruce Walker, Great Lakes Regional Editor for the Center Square, and I'm speaking with Scott McClellan, the Center Square's Michigan correspondent. You filed a story earlier this week about Detroit planning to spend $45 million for digital equity. Okay, number one, digital equity. Can you explain what that is? Detroit has, according to the University of Michigan, Detroit has the lowest uh, percentage of residents actually connected to the internet within the city. The city plans to spend $45 million of one-time funds to connect more residents to the internet and employ them in tech work through training and internships and certifications at close-by companies. So it's essentially what we used to call the digital divide. Yes, So the 45 million bucks, Detroit has $45 million to spend on bridging the digital divide or providing digital equity. Where does the money come from? The money comes from the American Rescue Plan. The uh, city of Detroit received a total of $826 million from that uh, stimulus package, which all must be spent by the end of 2026. I believe you spoke with the digital equity director. Yeah, I talked to Christine Burkett, and she told me that she wants to connect many of the 635,000 Detroiters to affordable internet by 2026. Uh, Burkett says that she will soon release a five to 10 year plan for Detroiters to retool from auto workers to internet technology workers. So how, how this would work, residents would enroll through the city and be connected to companies for training. That training could range for anywhere from 10 weeks at the early scale to 18 months for more advanced work. And she told me that the program should be ready by the end of 2023. Okay, well, I'm going to sound like a Luddite here. And why is this important? Uh, bridging bridging this digital divide. I mean, I was in Midland yesterday and I was talking to an individual who was trying to express to me why this was so important. Uh, he brought up parents who were taking their kids to McDonald's parking lots so that they could get Internet to use to, so their children could do their homework and, and what have you. I mean, is that reality or is that hyperbole? I think it's a little of both. I think that the being able to be connected to the internet is more important now than ever. Now that people can work through the internet, they can play through the internet. I mean, we check bank statements, we file our taxes. Uh, It's it's hard to really exist today without a solid internet connection. But it's I think it's also very important for working uh, within the city of Detroit. This program goes along uh, with Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan's goals. He said in his. 10th uh, citywide speech that Detroit will pass Silicon Valley in the future of the auto industry uh, as self-driving, autonomous, and electric vehicles become more popular. So I think Detroit's trying to capitalize on the tech sector. And um, also, something I forgot to mention earlier, the city of Detroit is planning to get devices and uh, give them out to people so that... uh, even so that they'll be able to work, whether those are hot mobile hotspots or uh, mobile jetpacks, which are able to provide Wi-Fi to multiple uh, devices. I'll be following the story probably through 2026 to see how this money is spent. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. I am Bruce Walker, Great Lakes Regional Editor for The Center Square. Please subscribe and thank you for listening.